Hi YouTube, this is your girl Jessica from Waves of Traveling. And today we're gonna talk about a to-do list for uh, cruises. Um, one of the number one things that you have to have to prepare for your cruise is your birth certificate um, and a legal ID. The other option is a passport and a passport isn't necessary, um, but with everything going on and the uncertainty of traveling these days, um, I highly recommend a passport because in the event um, an emergency was to come up, it's kind of hard to travel without your passport because um, if you need to fly um, out, of the, out of a country from a different location than the, the boat originally ported. So some of those take time, uh, passports take time to uh, send off and get back and um, also, if you've misplaced your birth certificate, you don't have your birth certificate, it may take a little bit of time to uh, reorder that. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is if you do decide to order a passport um, for traveling, make sure it's in plenty of time because you have to actually hand over your birth certificate in order to get a passport. And it would suck, <laughs> really, really suck if you're trying to do and go above and beyond and do the better the better thing and get the passport. And then you handed it over and the passport doesn't get here in time. And then you don't have your birth certificate and then you can't get on the ship. That would suck. Um, so that's the number one thing. Uh, the next thing, um, especially with uh, COVID and things going on right now, is COVID test. Um, being, um, being able to make an appointment, uh, in enough time so that you can get that appointment, uh, made and, uh, done and get the results back, uh, for, for your cruise. I highly recommend the at home test. Um, we've actually been on a cruise recently in February and it was a breeze. Um, the reason I say that is because I've heard a lot of stories of people actually, going and making an appointment to get their COVID test like two or three weeks out, you know, to prepare for their cruise. And it gets a few days before their cruise and, you know, CVS, Walgreens or wherever they're, they're going for this appointment are canceling because they don't have enough staff to um, be able to <laughs> accommodate for them. Um, I've seen that quite a bit. The other thing that I've seen is people getting the test done thinking it's going to be back in time and the ship has already left, the, the test results come back a day late and you know, there's what, nothing you can do. I highly recommend the Bionix. Um, it's uh, by Abbott and basically you do not open this. Um, you take it from home. You, you download the app and um, you get, it's proctored. So there's a doctor um, or someone on the other end that um, watches you take this test so you do not open it until then. There's been quite a mix up because these tests look so similar to the the other um, Bionix test that is not the proctored one. Look how similar they look. <laughs> so this is the one that you take, you know, you can take it home by yourself. Um, but it's, it's a self-test and the self-test does not qualify. Some companies have um, like a third part, party company. You could get this test um, and take it in front of the person and then they send you something. Um, but to be safe, I feel like this is kind of like an all-in-one. You get the proctored, it's already set up through them and you have your results with it. 15 minutes is super, super easy. Um, our entire family did this. Um, so that is another option um, as far as the COVID test. The other thing that I highly recommend, yes, um, the cruises do have ATMs and they do have machines that will exchange cash for you. But the problem is sometimes those machines get overloaded or there's long lines. So for me, um, I've always really enjoyed um, writing out my increments of, of, of different bills that I wanna get out. Um, and going to the bank and actually like saying, hey, I want $100 worth of ones, $100 worth of fives, $100 worth of tens, and just carrying that with me. That way I don't have to worry about like, you know, rushing to go to the ATM, rushing, you know, to do the little exchange thing. Um, and if you don't get cash out, those ATMs are pretty expensive. The cruise, they charge you, your bank charges you, and then there's some like out of network charge that you get. So I highly recommend getting all the cash you need. 
um, put it in your safe. And one of the little handy dandy things that I really, really love is um, this little pouch. So it makes it really easy. I usually put ones, fives, tens, and occasionally I'll bring 20s with me if I know that I'm gonna make a larger purchase and don't wanna break up my uh, my, my smaller bills. But um, you can get this on Amazon. Um, it's like, I think it's like 10 or 15 bucks. And it's really easy, it's compact. You keep it all in there and you put it like that and you stick it in your safe. Voila! Um, the other thing um, that I really, re really recommend, um, I kept hearing all this about packing cubes for so many years. And I finally got some um, about three years ago and packing cubes are a lifesaver. I love them, I love them, I love them. They come in different, different sizes, different colors, different materials. Um, but you know, I typically, the way I pack, um, I'll have my outfits kind of laid out. I'll put, you know, shorts and shirts that match in one. I'll put like, if I have skirts and stuff, I'll put that in one, under garments in one, stuff for the elegance night. Um, and I've even put like, you know, random little stuff in here, but these things work really, really well. Um, I really, really like them. And um, it makes life a lot easier because basically <laughs> you can have everything all there, take it out of your cube, put it in the shelf, or I've started uh, just taking the cube, unzipping it, and then sticking it in the shelf. So then I know anything that I, you know, have already worn um, is not in that cube. And uh, yeah, so. And then my final thing is luggage tags. Luggage tags, luggage tags. They are awesome. You're allowed to, with Carnival, uh, to print your tags out for your luggage. And um, when we first started cruising, we would do what a lot of people would do and what it tells you to do. We would fold it over and tape it onto our bag um, until several of our bags became missing on a couple of cruises. And then after that, I was like, nope, because the problem is they're, they're going so quickly and they're trying to get everybody's bag to their room. And if those things are not secured very well, they'll fall off. I don't know where to put it. Um, so these things work out really, really well. It tells them what deck, um, I usually just print them in black and white, um, but uh, it tells them where to put it and you know, it hooks onto your your bag and as long as you tighten this thing up, this little bad boy is not coming off. So I highly recommend them. You can get a, a, a pack um, from Amazon. I think this is like 10 uh, for under $10. They're so, so worth it. Um, so anyways, um, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys and um, until next time, this is your girl Jessica with Waves of Traveling. Bye!